Whoa, unbelievable. Buhari lacks the capacity to address Nigeria. Atiku Abubakar just exposed Buhari even further. This is Atiku Abubakar, former vice president to Olusegun Obasanjo, who is looking forward to becoming Nigerian's president. Yes, he's looking forward seriously, earnestly pursuing the position. He came out in 2019. PDP believe he won that election but was fraudulently taken away from him. The mandate of the win and uh, given to Buhari who was the incumbent president and people believe that Atiku actually won that election. A PDP on the other side recently with regards to where they might possibly be zoning the party uh, ticket for 2023 is coming up and guess what they keep dodging and uh, you know uh, trying to hide away or shy away from that vital information what region are you sending or are you thinking of you know moving this to pdp has constantly you know be dodging it and saying that um, they are not sure let the cap let the cap come on who it fits best but my people it's happening what do you think uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you so much Buhari lacks capacity to address the country. Atiku Abu Bakar, former Vice President Halaji Atiku Abu Bakar, has criticized President Muhammad Buhari's led administration federal government, saying it lacked the capacity to address the current challenges and need for help in the country. According to AP PDP stewards, the opposition must help them, not because of the government, but because of our people, because of Nigerians. This is more than a party. This is this is the life of the individuals and members of the society that make up the country Nigeria. Atiku, who fired this short in a statement he, pres he personally issued on Sunday, says the government must realize that the on Unprecedented insecurity that is facing the country is as a result of youth high level of unemployment. The statement reads, world highest unemployment rate, time to help. Nigerian government needs to help and remedy the situation. I have never felt so bad as being proven wrong as I am in the present report. You know, all that is currently going on in Nigeria is actually an eyesore of our present predicament that the present administration have no solution of how to remedy the situation of what is on ground. Nigeria can actually be changed and transformed if we have the right persons at lead in leadership who are ready to ensure that Nigeria comes and bats back. We can achieve this if we get the right persons. We constantly are speaking and we will not stop speaking in regards to what is on ground in Nigeria. How did Nigeria get here? How did we get into this ab abandoned boat where there is no way moving forward? Olusha Gwabas and Joy years ago kept maintaining that we need to up the level of on we need to up re, up employment and reduce unemployment for crime to go down that was one of his motives and things he fought for why in leadership to ensure that the country believes in sanity if any government makes this a priority it will surely get the ideal environment may not be able to solve all the problem in one day but gradually getting there systematically intentionally putting perspective things that will move the nation forward putting the youth as a priority and people who are the building block of the nation, taking what is important to them as building up the nation. And gradually, we will all ascend the throne together and insecurity, crime, and poverty will become a thing of the past. It's a conscious effort of working together to ensure that we get to this present level. That is Atiku Abubakar uh, challenging the person of President Muhammad Buhari that he has not done well for Nigeria at all. That Buhari has shown to Nigerians that he is incapable. You know, uh, this is Atiku exposing that Buhari has no capacity to address the present predicament that Nigeria is in. And that um, if, uh, if Buhari thinks for any reason he has anything to offer, this is the time 
to show it forth rather than hiding behind the mask or the veil. Currently, what is on ground shows that if we continue, I mean, I love the word you use, an abandoned boat. Imagine you say, oh my, I'm going on a, if, if you're going on a cruise, you're already packed up and all that, you know, you know you're ready for a cruise. If you're, and you guess what? When you get in the cruise, you know that the ship is going to be going around. If it's the European cruise or the American cruise, you know the you know the area that you'll be toiling, touring around and um, it will get some, uh, to some aspects, you have to come down from the cruise if you want to walk around and, I mean, go sightseeing you know what time the boat is the, the ship is moving these are things you plan it's all planning but guess what when you have people who have no plan no direction no form of advancement for the country this is what you experience this is what is constantly becoming a state of no advancement a state of no people where we are in a cocoon so to say uh yeah that's the word we are really in a cocoon and nigerians need to get on board and understand that unless we say no this prince administration is ready to stay there like forever, doing nothing, not moving the nation forward, and wants to be there. Occupying and doing nothing is a very shameful position. Honestly speaking, it's very shameful. And that's why Nigerian, especially the youths, if, if we're still going to have the country together as one in 2023, then we must have a set of people who have the tenacity. I know that we've been beaten. I know that we've been battered. I know that a lot has happened, especially with the NSAS. Youth came out and mass. Do you know even up till now, some people are still suffering as a result of that NSAS? Hey, yes, you heard me well. You know, they, they, they successfully cornered the youth to an aspect. They successfully did all that. But you know, when people go ahead and begin to oppress people, they think that they've gotten all that there is. You know, they feel that they've arrived. Hmm. But you know, there is, a ma there is one called God. He's not a man. Yes? And he has everybody's life in his hand. And if he's to answer everybody, if he's to deal with people who have made life, uh, you know, comfortable for others who have been selfish, who have the opportunity, who he gave the privilege to help and to, you know, to be able to bring about leadership direction and they failed, you will pity the people. So let's just keep, you know, praying for the bet for better. Let's keep praying that, you know, things will fall in line and we will all be safe again. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Later.